Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video showing the latest mods that I've been designing for the KDI Fast. And I know that I did show a video with the front and back vents, but I have changed the back vents since then, make it easier to print for you guys, as well as just a little bit nicer. Uh, before you would have had to use supports, I had a bevel along the bottom and the top, and now the face that's facing you is completely flat and you could print it upside down this is the side that's facing the printer and it did print very nicely so if you wanted a nice smooth print you could print on the black side of your sticker sheet or you could always print supports underneath and print it upside down and get a really nice finish as you can see that that has. So this is actually one of the pieces that I'm going to be giving away for the 100 subscriber giveaway. There's two of them. And this is the front vent. And this is the one that I actually wanted to do a lot better job of showing you again because it was really hard to show once I installed it. And I didn't take a video of me installing it. So first time that you actually get to see it not on the printer. And this is the channel. That everything fits into. And I'll just tilt the camera down a bit just in case you can't see it but the front edge of the door frame has a little edge to it. Basically it just fits in there so that's the top edge that you're seeing right there and these are wonderful. The one issue that I noticed right away with the printer is these gaps on the inside and I knew from the start that that was one thing that I was going to fix. It just made sense. And the other thing I wanted to really fix, and I've been working quite hard on this. I've tried so many different things. If you've been watching my videos, you're gonna know that. But I finally have gotten somewhere, I think. And I'm not quite there yet, but I'm close. This is a rear light diffuser. And it does a wonderful job of bringing the light across the bed. The issue I have with it is I was trying to improve the camera view as well as the light distribution and these work so well that they actually overexpose the camera uh, a certain distance. I, I'll, I'll leave a picture on the Cult 3D website with the lenses just to show you the difference in intensity of light and how it's distributed versus the new setup that I've made um, compared to the stock setup as well as just different changes in between putting foil along the back to help re reflect the light out that was something that worked really well uh, so the other the last thing I wanted to show you is the front light and a little bit difficult to show you it but this is the profile and basically what you've got is a ledge at the front, the same, very same ledge around the door frame that it clips into, and that is a very tight fit. So you'll start with one corner of the light and you'll just work your way on, and then it'll automatically pop up and clip into another metal ledge. And it works really well. I'm really, really happy with this design. This is actually one of the earlier templates that I made. I actually had to change it slightly from this, but it gives you the general idea of the shape. So the other thing I did is I made black end caps for them. And that might have been going a bit far. It didn't need them, but it definitely cleans things up. So if you're going to print these, just know, not necessary, but definitely something that kind of finishes it up nicely. So I'll leave you with that. Um, all these things as I said before, we're going to give away uh, for the 100 subscriber giveaway. And I also wanted to mention, we are going to, or I'm going to be having a contest for the 5-pack Micro Swiss Plated Nozzle Variety Pack. And uh, the co last contest, win contest winner passed, so we are going to reinitiate that contest and maybe even combine it into this contest, so when we draw from this contest, We'll throw the names back in the hat, and we'll draw for that as well. Uh, you could let me know. I've also thought about maybe taking one of the videos that a lot of 
it's not getting a lot of views and I, I, I'm really surprised about that. But it's not 3D printer related. Um, it's the remote control car slow motion videos that show the Ninja Flex mods and the different mods we made for no, remote control cars around the house. And I was thinking that maybe with the Micro Swiss plated nozzle giveaway, I would identify something in the video and basically maybe the first person to determine what's the most number of flips a, a car has or something like that. Um, maybe the time in the video that, that some text comes up. I'm not really sure, but first person to do that would win. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how to diversify and maybe get a few more views on some videos that I thought would do better, but YouTube algorithms being what they are, ever since I did the Micro Swiss contest, my views have dropped off a cliff. So doing this for the love of the art of creating and the community of iFast users that will appreciate it at the end of the day. So not a big deal. Enjoying um, communicating with a lot of you guys and just shooting ideas back and forth about the printer and you know troubleshooting as well so if you have any issues especially with any of the prints that I've uh, designed please let me know I'm more than happy to help and the files as they're ready will be available on Thingiverse I have a little bit of tweaking to do to these to make sure your clearances stay okay I get a bit of um, it barely touches them the extruder head and that's actually something I'm going to be taking care of too if we can just move it back and get you guys a look at it I actually want to take this fan shroud off it kind of blocks the view of the camera and um, it's kind it's let's just say it's superfluous it doesn't need that part of the shroud doesn't need to be there the rest of it yeah uh, it's guiding your filament into the top of your extruders and definitely needs to be there but I'm gonna think of a creative way of cutting that back and then I'm going to design something that trims it off properly so it looks nice and yeah I'm also gonna as I say design these in such a way that that won't be an issue for you um, I hope you guys enjoy the videos the mods if you have any questions like I said just let me know in the comments and again if, if you like the video please drop a thumbs up there it's hard to know uh, whether people actually know like these things or not unless they give you some sort of feedback and I know that's pretty cliche like and subscribe but at the end of the day it really does help like I said it really helps if you guys give me feedback I really appreciate it thanks for watching have a great day take care